Recently, Camilla's son has defended his mother after a series of attacks by Harry on Camilla through the book's spare. He was extremely angry and thought that the one who betrayed the royal family was Harry and his mother was giving a lot. The Queen's son, Tom Parker Bowles, has rebutted the Duke of Sussex's claim that she orchestrated a campaign aimed at marriage and eventually the crown, insisting there was no end game. Mr. Parker Bowles issued a staunch defense of his mother, who he said had married the king solely for love. Speaking publicly about the allegations for the first time, he said, I think change happens but I don't care what anyone says, this wasn't any sort of end game. She married the person she loved and this is what happened. Mr. Parker Bowles, a food writer and food critic, also told the News Agents podcast that his mother would ensure that her Coronation Day menu was free of chili and garlic because she did not like massive spice and would want to keep her breath fresh while greeting guests. His defense of his mother comes after the Duke of Sussex, his stepbrother, used his memoir, Spare, to launch an astonishing broadside against her. He repeatedly attacked the Queen in the book, alleging that she sacrificed him to improve her own public image. He also revealed that he and the Prince of Wales had begged their father not to marry her. He said that Camilla did not waste any time in developing her own long-term strategy, describing it as a campaign directed towards marriage and, with time, the crown. In interviews to promote his book, the Duke branded his stepmother the villain and suggested she was dangerous. He alleged that bodies had been left in the street as she sought to rehabilitate her image. Mr. Parker Bowles told podcast hosts Emily Maitlis and John Sopel it was tough for the Queen to take on such a prominent role during the coronation ceremony, but said she had never complained. He added, I think anyone would be anxious on an occasion of this sort of importance in terms of the historical. And yes, I think I'd be terrified if I had to sort of walk out wearing ancient robes. She's 75, but you know, it's tough to do it. But she's never complained. You just do it. Get on with it. Mr. Parker Bowles praised the king and queen, saying, I think they're doing amazingly. I think King Charles is a good, kind, intelligent man who cares deeply about his roles wherever they may be, Prince of Wales, the king. He championed the monarch for being way ahead of his time on issues like sustainability food security, farming and pollution. People were calling him sort of mad and eccentric 20 years ago. Everything that he's talked about are now things that have hit the mainstream and now we're really worrying about, he added. Asked if it was weird to think of Camilla as the Queen, Mr. Parker Bowles replied, not really, because she's still our mother. I say our but not the royal we, speaking for my sister and me. She's our mother. Mr. Parker Bowles confirmed that he would not be getting a title, adding, You're not going to find us with great estates and being called the Duke of whatever. No. That would be appalling. Asked if he was worried about anti-monarchy group Republic's demonstrations on the day of the coronation, he backed the right to protest. Everyone has the right to think what they want, going back to Extinction Rebellion and Animal Rebellion and Republic whatever it is, everyone has a right to their say, he said. We live in, thankfully, a free country, if people want to protest, that's their right to do so. Republic is expected to stage the largest protest action in its history by lining the coronation procession route and gathering in Trafalgar Square.
going back to Extinction Rebellion and Animal Rebellion and Republic whatever it is, everyone has a right to their say, he said. We live in, thankfully, a free country, if people want to protest, that's their right to do so. Republic is expected to stage the largest protest action in its history by lining the coronation procession route and gathering in Trafalgar Square.